Hi, welcome everyone to econistics.com. Today we are going to uh, discuss about coin trial regression in Stata. So, before we start, first of all, we'll discuss why coin trial regression is important. So, coin trial regression is used when data is not normal, and then the normality assumption is not fulfilled by the data, and we are forced to estimate uh, for the median rather than the mean value. So, that's why we use the uh, and and in this quantile regression we can run regression for some other center rather than mean or median we can take 25 percentile or 75 percentile or any other center that we want to check so this way we can have uh, this is the benefit of using quantile regression so before going to uh, run the estimation in stata first of all we'll look at the data so the data file that we are discussing is it has many variables and uh, today we will be studying it for uh, for life for life expectancy and infant mortality rate models so in this model we will see if if the data is not normal then we will go towards the estimating quantile regression so i will be how to import data so in this data i have two rows of variable names so i will select it from second one because in software i need only one row so I will select Control Shift right and Control Shift down, and I have copied uh, all the data. When I go in, uh, now if I go open data, so data is open. Now we go towards the data editor portion, and now paste here and we select data variable names as the as the first row so all the data is properly loaded and none of the numerical variable is in red which means all the data is cleanly added there is no typo or alphanumerical value in the uh, data which is expected to be numerical now uh, what we will do is we will first check if the data is uh, normal or not so, so there are few ways that can use to check if the variable is normal so our variable is IMR so IMR is infant mortality so if you don't remember the variable is what you can do is go in data editor and select your variable that you uh, that you want to use it regularly and write its full name I am using infant mortality rate and I am using Another variable to compare it result with that is environment quality. So there are two variables that I will be using, and the third I will be using is the GDP. So I will pick it up from the bottom somewhere. Yes, GDP per capita. So we have these three variables that I will be using so you can see these three variables are labeled here so you can you can remember if you're using so first way is to check the data is normal or not so focus should be on the dependent variable first so I will make histogram HIS histogram of IMR variable and I will also show the normal flow line so if I do this it will show as loading the, the circle group crossing means it's loading so you can see it here that the 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 line is showing the normal distribution but you can see the bars are not following the line it means the the, the infant mortality graph is positive uh, negative ne positively skewed it has a longer tail on the positive side so it is not normal now another thing that we want to discuss here is how to make your data how to make your graph more details so when you have made the graph you can press this graph editor and in this graph editor you can do is that you can uh, you can add a title by double clicking here and it will open a menu and you can write histogram of infant mortality rate it has a title now and you can also add subtitle notes you can also add uh, title on the y-axis but it's already there 
you can also add subtitle on the x-axis if you have a legend you can add a title over there if you want to change the plot type if you need to change the colors so you can double click the bars and it will show what kind of color you want i can if, if i want gray scale so it will convert it into gray so it's up to you how to change and when it is finished you can either save it or just copy it in and move it in your word file so this way you can improve the the presentation of the graphs for your study so this so i'm not saving it so now we need to do one few more graphs so uh, there is another graph box that is imr so we can now plot a box plot so it also shows us the distribution so you can see the, this this line is only in the center of this box and this box is not in the center of between these two lines and there are outliers on the right hand side so it means that it is not normal it has right tail so these are uh, some tests so other there are more tests like uh, like uh, and uh, jack bira test so sk test i imr co2 gdpbc so all of them have probability value of jack bira significant so this is showing that the the three variables are not normal similarly we can also test the uh, s wilk test so spiro wilk test is also significant it's also showing the data is not normal similarly we have another test test s francia So it's also saying it's not normal. So we have a couple of tests that are showing that the graphs are uh, the data is not normal. So there are few two or three more tests that you can use is that includes the uh, QQ plot and uh, and the PA and the, uh, the the QQ plot. So that can be used to check the data. So the data is not normal. So even even if so you run the regression, let's let's run a simple regression. Reg reg is equal to IMR CO2 GDPPC. So if you run a reg simple regression and it is significant and overall model looks same, fine. But if you want to go, if you generate its residuals, so predict res. So we have generated residuals which has name RES. So now we check if the residuals are normal or not. So what we'll do is a histogram. So if you open this, you can see it's not normal. If you add the, you can add the K density line. So you can see the average of the line. So you can see it's it has two peaks. It's not following normal distribution. So that is not normal. So uh, yeah. so you have to uh, run the contrail regression now how to run the contrail regression now we'll go towards its method so in statistics in non-parameter statistics it is contrail regression so when you open it then it will ask for the dependent variable so i will go to select imr and the independent variable is co2 and gdp per capita so when I estimate, it's asking which quantile to estimate. So by default, it is median. So you can run median. It is it estimated a median regression. So if you want to estimate for some other, so rather than going into the command again, I will just press page up and it will come. The previous command will come back. Now I want to run it for 25 percentile. I can just change it for 25. It will show me 25 percent. So this way you can estimate for uh, any percentile value you want to check so this is the simple contrail regression the other applications of this model include so if you go in statistics and non uh, non non parametric statistics if you go in so there is uh, simultaneous quantile regression and bootstrap quantile regression bootstrap regression is used when you need to uh, do the robust model so if you have finished selecting the quantile then you can convert it into bootstrap model so it is same as that so it will just do the robust version so it's same as 
the EQ regression. But if you wanted to do it, do it for more than one quantile, then what you can do is go in simultaneous quantile regressions and select the IMR, CO2, GDP per capita. I, uh, now I wanted to do it for three. So I 25 percentile, 50 percentile and 75 percentile so that I can have three simultaneous regressions. So when I run it, so what it will show us, it will take some time because simulation is needed. So here what is doing is, so we are looking at when the data is at 25 percentile, uh, the model is showing that carbon dioxide is decreasing, is not affecting and GDP is decreasing infant mortality rate. So the economies where infant mortality rate is low, income is also reducing them further and further in the middle is same. So the, the signs are not changing across the theory. So you can use this approach. So this is the uh, simultaneous equation, quantile regression. So hopefully you, you understood how to use quantile regression. If you have any queries, do write, write in the comments below and do subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you very much.